Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a alternative uh, building technique to experimental airlines uh, taper, uh, tubular fuselage and I call this the tapered fuselage because it's tapered. Uh, it's built out of Dollar Tree foam or ready board and you can cover it with packing tape if you want to for colored uh, look and a little bit more strength or you can just leave it as the bare foam now the advantage of this compared to the tubular fuselage is that it yields slightly better aerodynamics because of the fact that it's tapered so it slips through the air a little bit better uh, and it's a little bit lighter due to the fact that the paper is peeled off of both sides of the foam now, the disadvantage of this is because there's no paper, um, it is probably a little bit weaker than the tubular fuselage. So maybe if you're a beginner or crash a lot, uh, maybe this wouldn't be quite as good. But with the packing tape on it, I do, I, I do think it's pretty strong. So uh, that's not too much of a problem. It also uh, is a little bit harder to construct than the tubular fuselage, so if you don't really care about aerodynamics, um, you can just go ahead and do the tubular fuselage because that's much easier. But anyways, uh, how you construct this is, first you want to determine your size. So I like to use a 2 by 2 size two by two inches and that is just barely big enough to accommodate a 2200 battery it just makes the hatch stick up a little bit but it's close enough so i use that size so then i would cut four pieces of two inch by however long you want it to be uh usually 30 inches or whatever so two inch by 30 inch pieces of the foam and then you trace out your tapers or your, and your nose and whatever you want to do and then cut them all out and then you want to bevel everything at a 45 degree angle like this so you can either use a razor or you could just sand it and then just glue them all together and then you can apply tape and really you can apply tape before or after uh, you cut it doesn't really matter I applied this after um, but it really doesn't matter and of course you can uh, make hatches to access batteries servos whatever you want and you can make it to accept a wide variety of motor mounts this is tapered down to a one by one motor mount, but if you have a larger motor, can be less or more, whatever you want it to be. Uh, very simple. So that's pretty much it. Last thing is uh, tail sections. So for the elevator to compensate for the taper, a simple thing that I do is just put a little piece of foam in between fuselage and the control surface. And then for the vertical fin, I like to just cut a slot stick it in there, hot glue it, and because it's touching the bottom, glued on the bottom, and then glued in the slit, it's actually pretty strong, doesn't need any reinforcement. If you wanted to, uh, you I, and I highly encourage this, you can go ahead and use the modular tail section. Uh, that works just fine too. Uh, again, I would use a piece of foam like on top and just mount the thing on top of that and that would make a perfectly good tail section so that's about it for my tapered fuselage uh, this is just an alternative slightly more aerodynamic higher performance than the tubular fuselage but I do not recommend it if you're looking for uh, an easier build or uh, more strength. So, thank you for watching.